was elbow awareness, or is elbow awareness, and we, we talked about gait on, young, uh, when we did gait on, ski, we did this, and we found that if I just hit him like this, and he braces it, brace the other hand, it's hard for me to muscle him, but if I make contact double bomb, and I expand by using my hip, I have good elbow awareness. I can't get my elbow on the inside completely because I'll hyperextend my arm. But I can have it better than this. My elbow is now here. When I do this, my elbow moved in two or three inches. And if I use my elbow awareness with my hip, that is, I do a late rotation with my wrist and pull my hip back, that moves it off like it's nothing. Is that fair? Exactly. Back of hand, double bump. That gives you poor elbow awareness. And now you can't move him. If I make contact thumb in, palm up, that gives me good elbow awareness. Now it's a question, I get good elbow awareness, can I have a motive power? The motive power is my hips. But if I pull back, it doesn't work because I'm already in on me. I'm already pulled back. So I go in and then I pull back. And that creates a situation in which I can do on me. Right? It's all very logical if you think about it. It's just you don't see it initially. Thank you. And you can resist it. We know we can do this. He agrees it works, right? What I want you to tr do is do it without this hand. And you're going to find it doesn't work very well. You can even do it like this, okay? If you do it with a whacking motion, do it with one hand and then try to do it with both hands and see if there's a difference. I think what you're going to find is hand up, functional, hand down, less functional. That's the nuance because the hand up, we think, okay, you ever see this in books? You block the guy over here, you block the guy over here, right? That's what you call uh, fantasy, okay? Because you can't have equal energy in your blocks from two directions. You could do this and hit him, that's a possibility. But this positional element changes your back muscles so that this is strong. Can you lean into it? Now, toward, yeah, turn my face, yeah. Go ahead, right? Feel it strong? Yeah. Now, when I go like this, go ahead. I have to really work to get it up. And this, you can feel it right away when it is, can't you? Okay? All right? We're doing a reverse hunt, right? We're, we're pulling this hip back in order to get this arm to expand. And that's perfectly okay. Absolutely makes sense. If we did it the other way, we did this, we'd have less success. We're trying to turn this way. It's even less success. Okay? So inevitably, what we do is we whack it. But whacking it is probably goes ring and he goes, he folds in on the on my block and hits me anyway. This is what I mean when we go off and we'll just finesse this. We'll go, oh yeah, that'll work. I'm doing my technique right. So that'll work. And what we do is we block by assumption. So we have the best leverage possible. And we say it'll work. But if I block in a, in a place on his arm where he actually could hit me, I cannot move him. Something's wrong with this picture. So I want you to give, I'll give up karate and stick, take Tai Chi from now on. <laughs> okay, so let's try to solve this problem, okay? All right. Well, there are, there are tricky solutions. The first tricky solution I came up with in the 70s was 
Actually, I blocked from here, and then I turned. <laughs> so there was, was a little cheatsy. But it worked nice. I blocked from here, and I turned right up there. It worked every time. Okay, so on the street, that's fine. Hit them with the inverted down block, and then do the inside form. But let's see if we can make this work better. So I'm going to make contact and drop my elbow underneath. Elbow awareness. I'm going to turn this way and expand back, just like we did in the backhand block. Got it? Is that fair? Okay, that doesn't look like it feel like I'm working, right? Don't do it with your elbow up. It will not work. Drop your elbow. Turn in and then expand. Okay? When you turn this over, there's two ways you can rotate your hand. Three ways. Pivot in the center of the finger like this. Now the axis is down the middle of your arm. You can pivot on the little finger. Now you're pulling the thumb in. I want you to pivot on the radius on the thumb side so this stays here and this goes out. That moves him. Now, to do that, because you're starting from a static position, it might be helpful if you start raising your fingers a little bit and then do it. So there's a little arc, okay? So I'll, I'll make a covenant with you that, uh, you see the joke coming, right? Okay, that if you do this right with a little arc, it'll work in a much blessed way. Okay, go ahead. Now, leave this here and turn out from the little finger. And just go up a little bit. Okay. Did you find the fingers matter? Okay? Fingers matter. If you don't believe me, drive in LA and find out if your fingers matter. All right. Okay, so when you concentrate on one arm, what happens is it's like an upper block, and the energy comes down this arm into your body. It's usually weaker in the back arm because there's a gap between your root foot and this arm. And it's, it, there is a way of doing it. All you have to do is drop this hip. And if you drop this hip, the energy can be put on this arm, just the way you do a reverse upper block. Okay? But if you go on both arms, the tendency is to split the energy, it goes down the middle, and it's weak. Now, sometimes people are using both arms, but when they test one arm, they're doing it from a, um, they're thinking of their arms, but their hips are not complementing their arms. So they're square, where instead of just turning the hip a little bit, and I'm gonna have you try that now. This is square, <clears throat> okay? Now I wanna think of this arm. I just turn my hip a little, not on me, just a little bit and see if it doesn't feel stronger. Collect the punch on both bones though. When you do this, this feels strong because it's an upper block, but you're gonna get this arm whacked on the ulna. Okay, it's better to collect it on both bones. Even if you turn late to go to the single arm, you wanna hit it, have it hit on both bones. Okay, so on an X block, you're hitting both bones. test is simple by doing this. Is it stable? The, the, nice power, good form, right? Is it stable? No. Now, I want you to turn that toe out, the forward toe out, and change your back foot. Yeah? So you're doing the same stance, but instead of going like this, you're going this way. Okay? Is that stable? Yeah. Okay. 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 Yep. No, way, and you don't wrap it with my cheating way, I keep it fast.
It's not forceful. Is there any pressures on the back? I also want to touch this. Now, if I had done this, I would have done it splits your mind. It makes you the Xbox applicator, which is thinking of both arms. And you can't have good strength. 